This is the Prima Balalaika. Now, there are various types of balalaika. There's the smaller type called the piccolo, and there's a huge balalaika as well called the contrabass. Um, this is the most common one though. Now, um, the balalaika comes from Russia, and according to the legends, um, many years ago, back in the uh, 15th century, um, there are a group of, well, there were lots of groups of performing musicians. It's called, called the skomarohi. And the skomarohi played the domra, which is a circular instrument. And they, they would play around all the towns and villages. However, the church didn't like them. And the authorities didn't either. And so they were banned. People thought that their performances were work of the devil and the authorities didn't like them because they brought anarchic ideas to the people. So the Skomarowi were banned and they were forced to flee the big cities and go to the countryside and there they didn't have the tools or the equipment to make the round domina instruments and so they made a version which was easier to made, make which is triangular. It's a much simpler instrument and the balalaika became very, very popular. The name comes from the Russian word balakach, which means to chat. And the balalaika has become the national instrument of Russia. It's tuned, it has two nylon strings tuned in E, and then it has a steel string tuned in A. And it's played with the forefinger.